So what chapter will we be reading today? Chapter 3. Okay. And what verses? Verses 1 through 12. Great. Let's begin. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who, spoke, who was spoken of by the pro- pro- prophet. prophet Isaiah, saying the, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John himself was clothed in camel's hair, with the leather belt around his waist, and f- his food was blo- locusts. locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around Jerusalem, The Jordan went out to him and were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees, Pharisees and the Sadducees, Sadducees coming to his baptism, He said to them, Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore bears fruit worthy of repentance. And do not think to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I in sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly, thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. That was wonderful, Georgie. You did such a great job. Now, today, we are introduced to a new person, John the Baptist, He was a little different than other folks. He liked to live alone in the wilderness. His clothing was not fancy at all, clothing made from camel's hair. And he ate the food he found in the wilderness, like locusts and wild honey. I think I might be okay with the wild honey part, but I don't know about the locusts. Well, that's what he did. But even though he didn't live near people, He still loved people and wanted to help them, 
just like monks and nuns today. And so he taught them a better way of living and told them that someone great was coming, Jesus. So John helped prepare the way for the people to meet the grown-up Jesus. Well, thanks, Georgie, for a great reading today. I'm Father Alexis, and remember, Christ is in our midst.